Shalom and blessings. We're glad that you could join us once again to these devotionals. We've come to the last day of looking at our faith journey of Hebrews 11. We've walked through the faith journeys of very different men and women. Today, as we look, we find that there's a shift and a change uh, in focus over the experience of people and their faith journeys. Let's read Hebrews 11 verses 35 to 40. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. Still others had trial of mockings and scourgings, yes, and of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, they were tempted, they were slain with the sword, they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains, in dens and caves of the earth, and all these, having obtained a good testimony through faith, did not receive the promise. God, having provided something better for us, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. We see that these followers of God were committed to their faith. They were steadfast to their faith, despite the atrocities that we read in these verses. The purpose of, of Hebrews, or the purpose of why it was written, was to, um, uh, to help the Jewish Christians at that time to continue their faith in Jesus Christ. They, they were facing a lot of persecution at that point of time, and it was to exhort them to continue their faith and not turn back into Judaism. So the author here highlights the very many sufferings of people and the way that they endured, yet they continued to be in faith. We see that they were committed to their faith, and that is what helped them to endure these atrocities. They did not deny their faith, all because they wanted escape from their situations. But they continued to walk in faith, knowing that they would be raised up to a glorious and uh, honorable life. So what is the result of those who are faithful in persecution, in deprivation and death? They are commended highly. They, are, they, they live in hope for the promise that is to come. God, we can be assured that God does not forget anyone who serves him. In verse 40, we see that God has provided something better for us, something better for us who are at this side of, of Jesus. For those who were in the old covenant, they had to look forward to the promise of, of the Messiah. But for those of us who are uh, uh, in the new covenant, we look back and we, we find ourselves being blessed by what Jesus did for us. We also see that no one was made perfect under that old coven covenant as Christ had not yet died. They were saved, but, they, but, they had, uh, but not until the complete, completed work of Jesus. Their salvation had to be looked ahead to. But for us, we look back to what He has done. So we are in a far more greater state than they are. And we have so much more of hope. So let us continue to walk our faith, knowing what Jesus has done for us. Let us pray together. Father God, we thank you for the faith journey that we have learned over the last two weeks. We thank you for what we have seen today, that even through persecution, through death, through suffering, we need to stay committed to our faith because of what you have done, because of how you walked this earth. Teach us to keep our eyes focused on you always, the author and finisher of our faith. To you be all glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.